Hello and welcome back to Let's Talk Movies. If you are new here, like and subscribe for future content. So, <laughs> the Avengers Endgame came out yesterday, the trailer. And I absolutely loved the trailer, I thought it was absolutely incredible, I cannot wait for Endgame. But do you no know, want to know what the biggest controversy is? People on the internet are freaking out and going crazy because Captain Marvel is wearing makeup. You heard right. Because Captain Marvel has a bit of makeup on, all these women, they're all just gone fucking crazy. I really don't understand these people. This is full-blown SJWs who are now clearly they're messed up in the head because they just can't believe that someone wants to wear a bit of makeup. It's it's absolutely crazy. There's so many people like, oh my god, you are. Can someone please rinse her face off a little? It looks like she used a makeup app on a selfie just because she got a bit of makeup on there. You got someone else here. <laughs> Carol Danvers' appearance has slightly changed from Captain Marvel to Avengers. You know, and you got another one here. Captain Marvel in full face of makeup is probably going to be Endgame's version of Black Widow straightening her frizzy post-shower hair. It's... You, it's re I really don't understand why these people are like this. It's it's almost like they have something missing in their brain. And that you, you know, the best one I got is... Uh, I just couldn't stop laughing at... Is uh, there's one woman here? He goes by Captain Marvel is my hero. Captain Marvel should not be wearing makeup. Do not fucking mention me. Well, if you're saying don't mention me, you know people are going to reply to you. Are you all just looking for that little bit of attention? You must be, because why else would you go on Twitter, shout and scream, throw your toys out of the pram because of this? When a lot of people were trying to boycott Captain Marvel, you've still got tons of people who haven't seen it. They were going on an agenda because of what Brie Larson said, you know? And again, I went and saw it, and again, I wasn't happy what she said, and I thought the film was alright. A lot of people thought the review, sorry, the film was okay, and the mixed reviews are correct. All of you people who were moaning about makeup. On the someone just because you got a bit of red lipstick on, you are all worse than the backlash from all the people, or as you call them, soy boys and all this, and the butt hurt people who wanted to see Captain Marvel, you know, fail and all this. You're worse than them because you're all moaning about a bit of makeup. You all must have some serious wiring messed in your head, it must be loose. You know, does it hurt when you turn a corner and all of a sudden you, you know, your brain is hitting against the side of your head? Really, it's a bit of makeup. You know, and to be honest with you, looking at the majority of you people, I have actually looked through your Twitters and you're all wearing makeup in, mo in most of your photos you've posted. So either you're all a bunch of hypocrites or, like I said, you just want to be on Twitter, shout and scream and get a little bit of attention because this is what you want but you know what Captain Marvel she actually looks better in the end game trailer than she did in the entire film of Captain Marvel do you want to know why that is because the Russos directed it the Russo right and I'm not saying that women directors are you know less um, they're less than men are directing because they're not Catherine Bigelow is one of the best directors going a lot of you probably don't even know who that is because you're just too caught up in your own little world. You don't actually look at history. But Catherine Bigelow is the only woman to this to the date who has won Best Director Oscar. And she made some of the best action films in the 90s. However, when you give two directors who have made five films and the combined budget was fifteen and a half to seventeen and a half million dollars, which is just the wage budget for a movie like Captain Marvel, you shouldn't let them do it. You should not let them do it. They should have practiced on $50 million movies, $60 million movies, and worked their way up. That's what the Russo brothers did. They started off obviously doing Community and all these other TV shows, but then they'd done a couple of rom-coms, where a lot of you probably actually like their rom-coms, but you're too stupid to actually realise 
that you've probably watched them and gone, oh, I like that film. But the Russo brothers, the ones who you are all having a go out now, directed. This is the problem with a lot of you, okay? <laughs> I just got to laugh because you're all moaning about makeup. It's fantastic. Oh, please, please, why is she wearing makeup? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> it's just so laughable. Come on. If, if you don't want to go and see Endgame because she's wearing makeup, fine. Don't go and watch it. You haven't got to. But moaning because she's wearing a bit of makeup. <sighs> yeah. And a lot of you, if you're like, oh, she never wore makeup in the comics. I know because I've actually read that issue. And again, in the older comics, she did. So if you want to have a go, have a go in the comments. Like the uh, video. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you soon.